everyone, it is Carla the Bubble Ash, and this is Thursday, April 28th, and it is another rainy, drizzly, gross day here in Oregon, but we have very important things to talk about here, people. Tomorrow is the royal wedding. This is exciting. I know that some of you are tired of the royal wedding. I don't understand why. It is super exciting, and... Um, so I wanted to do a little backstory about why I'm excited about this. In 2004, I studied abroad in Denmark. I studied abroad in Copenhagen, actually. There was about 15 of us. We all, um, we were all college classmates. And we went to Copenhagen and in groups of like three or four, we worked at local businesses and we did like a project and we got college credit for it. So there was um, three of my sorority sisters and I all roomed together. We weren't project partners together, but we roomed together. And we were called the Danish Dames. And it was one of the best times of my life. It was so much fun and it was such, it was such a great experience that I'm going to encourage Hannah to like try to study abroad because I just think it's one of those like life experiences that you should have. <laughs> like living in a European country or living wherever she decides to go, I think it is a great experience. So, sidetrack. The Danish Dames, we were all there during the royal wedding where the crown prince of Denmark got married to a commoner named Mary. And I believe that they met at a bar at the Sydney Olympics and she didn't know that he was a prince and blah, blah, blah. And that was kind of a big deal because right at that same time, the prince and me, Prince and I, Prince and Me. What is up with me in movie titles? I'm pretty sure it's The Prince and Me. Was released and all of us dames went and saw The Prince and Me at the movie theater in Copenhagen with like real Danes. And um, they were like picking out all the falsehoods in the movie. It was great. Anyways, it's neat to watch a movie like that in the country that it's set in. To see the locals be like, this is stupid Americans. Um, <laughs> So we were there during all the pomp and the lead up and you know decorating the streets and everyone all excited for the royal wedding. So this kind of like brings back really good memories of a great time in my life. And you know with the whole Princess Diana thing uh, and growing up and Princess Prince God I keep doing that Prince William was like the eligible bachelor for us tweens. Well, we were preteens back then. We weren't called tweens. We were called preteens. Um, and he was, you know, we all wanted to marry Prince William. At least I did. He was really handsome. And she, Kate, is the one that, like, she landed him. She landed the prince. So she is going to wake up tomorrow just like a calmer, and she's going to go to sleep the princess. And I think this is awesome. So I want to combine my two royal wedding experiences. I want to bring a little of the college royal wedding experience to tomorrow. And I think that we should do that by making a drinking game. Okay. So first, you gotta wake up early in the morning or DVR it and watch it somewhat early in the morning. <clears throat> then I think you need to select your beverage. You can do coffee if you want to, you can do juice, you can do 7-Up, probably Mountain Dew because you're gonna be so exhausted. But I suggest a nice cup of English breakfast tea. You gotta have tea, right? It's and then I'm going to follow it up with some mother's milk tea because let's face it, I need all the help I can get. So I think that we need to make some rules. Um, when every time they talk about who actually designed Kate's dress, take a sip, because they are like all excited about that. Everyone's all a flutter about her dress. I don't really care about her dress. Every time they talk about her not taking the carriage and instead arriving in a car, take a sip. Anytime they talk about the parade route being the same as the queen mom is going to take at her funeral procession, take a sip because that's just weird. Um, anytime they talk about uh, will she wear a tiara or won't she wear a tiara, take a sip with your pinky up, darling. And anytime they talk about how William is not going to wear a wedding ring, take a sip with your ring finger up if you can do that like this. But actually, I think that the princes wear their wedding rings on their thumbs, so try to drink with your thumb up. And I'm going to try to get over it. Oh, traffic sucks. Um, anytime they talk about her being a commoner, take a big old slurp, because that's what commoners do. And when she finally, like, steps out 
and you see her for the first time, you gotta just like down your whole glass, finish whatever is left. So those are my suggestions for the rules. And um, if you have any other suggestions, leave them below. Oh, one more. Anytime they mention that Harry is going to turn rooms in the palace into a disco, complete with disco ball, uh, take a sip because they, they can't get over that either. They mention that all the time. So, if you're tired of hearing all about the royal wedding, get over it. It's exciting. It's exciting. Just watch it. And I know that there's other more important news, but just for one morning, just be excited about a girl becoming a princess because I think that's awesome. <laughs> so, I hope everyone has a great day. And it is now my weekend, so no more car vlogs for a few days. I hope you guys have a great weekend planned. If the weather ever breaks, we are going to take Hannah to the Tulip Festival, but I think it's going to be rainy all weekend, so I think we're going to miss it this year. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.